sit back in a bit, meditate, I think I should. No, we ain't friends, got me on t What's going on guys, it's Bryson Fitch Records and we're back with another video. In today's video, we are talking about the mysterious and undocumented artist Destroy Lonely and what he's going to be putting out next, which would be his album No Stylist that he's been hyping for years at this point. Uh, if you don't know Destroy Lonely, he is signed to Playboy Cardi's Opium label with Ken Carson and Homicide Gang, and he has quite the cult fan base behind him, literally. Like, his fan base is literally almost unlike any other that I've seen, but I wanted to go into this album that he's been teasing over and over and over again and talk about it about when I think it's gonna drop because I think there's a pattern going on here with the opium label and not a lot of people have picked up on it so I'm gonna talk about that and see if it becomes true so destroy lonely signed to opium in either late 2020 or early 2021 it's hard to tell because there's not a lot of documentation literally the only documentation people have of this is him putting opium in his Twitter and Instagram bio so I, I guess that means he was an opium. I mean, the opium still doesn't even have like an official website or anything like that. So it's hard to look at specifics and stuff like this, but that's all the information we have about that. His last project on streaming was, I don't even know how to pronounce this honestly, the Heartbreak Squared. <laughs> nah, it was the deluxe to this album. It came out late 2020 and he hasn't even dropped a full length project since then. Only thing he's really been dropping is Random Lucy's like on SoundCloud and he had the XOEP which had like five songs in it and he dropped that in July of 2021. So it's been about a year since any real body of music has come out and that was just a small EP that wasn't even on streaming. So I don't even know if you can really count that. He's been teasing No Stylist since late 2020 which says a lot because that is like right when his last album came out like afterwards he was ready and geared up for that. But I think it's obvious why he's waiting, you know, in late 2020 he did not have the buzz he did now, which says a lot because he hasn't really done much. He's just been signed to Cardi and gone on tour with them. And from that, of course, the Cardi fan base is crazy and they've been eating that up. And also, much like Playboy Cardi, he's a liar. He says it's gonna drop on certain dates and it doesn't. So, you know, he's, he's fitting the mold. He's fitting the mold perfectly here. As far as what No Stylist is and what the project contains, I'll just let him explain that from this interview clip from Our Generation Music. Music. The project, no stylist. I'm sure there. Is it still going to be called no stylist? Hell yeah. The fuck. What do you? Like, what do you? What do you want to accomplish with this? Like, what are some of your goals with no stylist? Truly. Truly, because this is like something I've been working on for a long time. No stylist means a lot to me. Yeah. It's like, I just want to. I don't. I don't feel like I got a point to prove. Yeah. But I want to be able to break away from however niggas feel about me and show people that I can actually. I could create, like, yeah. some real shit. Like, because I'm on those stylists, I'm trying to make, I don't want to say the most different shit. I don't mm -hmm. want to be, like, the most different nigga. I'm trying to go left field. But I want to make something that's different from what's being created right now yeah. in my own way just to show niggas, like, I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? I can make real music. I can make, I can make, I anything. just do anything else. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Something else. I just want to show niggas I can do the other shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, nah, really yeah. show and I'm gonna link the interview down in the description below if you wanna watch that whole thing because it's one of the only interviews he's ever done. So it's extremely interesting to see. Now, like two months ago, he said No Stylist was finished and posted a snippet, which I want to share with you guys because he, he said it was finished. So it could really come out at any time, I suppose, but not really. But yeah, that's the snippets called Swag's Cool, and I would play you guys like a lot of no stylist snippets, but uh, there's a lot. <laughs> there's there's a lot of uh, no stylist snippets that could or could not be on the album. So I'm just gonna play that one because I feel like if anything's official, it's gonna be that one where he said the album was finished and posted it. Now, Rolling Loud was a few days ago at this point, and he said it was coming soon. You know, Destroy Lonely himself, he said it was coming soon. Did you say you got any upcoming projects you could say? Hell yeah, no stylist on the fucking way. That shit's coming out. Hey, that's fine. No bet. Hey, appreciate it, man. For sure. Now, who knows what that really means because he is signed to the Liar label. 
but you know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now, as far as the pattern for Opium Artists, the, these Opium Artists, Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, and Homicide Gang, but to a lesser extent, but really Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, they are an extension of Playboy Cardi's fan base. I mean, if you are a fan of Ken or Lone, you are a fan of Cardi, and if you're a fan of Cardi, and you're that much of a big fan of Cardi that you know about Ken and Lone, you are probably going to be fans of them if you listen to your music. So it's almost like Cardi doesn't have to drop that often because he can just have Ken or Lone drop something. Like he just did with uh, Ken Carson just dropped X and that's got all his fans, that has all of Cardi's fans hyped up because his artist dropped. It wasn't, it wasn't even Cardi. Cardi didn't even have a feature. He just executive produced the album. But all the fans are eating right now because of his artist dropped and Ken is going on tour with Destroy Lonely. That tour goes from August 6th to September 24th. I will be at that first show, don't worry, I will be there. Expect some stuff like that on my social media, we're gonna go crazy, but the point is that Cardi can use these artists to build up hype for him, and vice versa, Cardi builds up hype for the artists. Like, it is kind of a synergetic relationship, and the reason I'm saying this is because, all right, Ken just dropped, I think either Cardi will drop after this whole tour and everything, or Destroy Lonely will drop, because that'll just keep the hype even going, but I could see maybe Cardi drop, and then get that crazy boost that he's gonna get because it's, it's fucking Playboy Cardi dropping. And then if Lone drops, then it's just gonna go that much crazier for the both of them. And they're just gonna help work off each other. I could also see Destroy Lonely dropping No Stylist like right after this tour. And then when Cardi drops, then it's like really a big deal. I could see it going both ways. But regardless, I hope Lonely drops before the year ends. I mean, I'm really looking forward to this, you know. He's an extremely talented artist. I don't like all of his old music because a lot of his stuff is old before he was not signed to Cardi or anything like. But this new stuff he's been doing, these new Lucy's, these new features he's been on have been crazy. And I'm more than excited to hear what he has to come with no stylist. And yeah, that's all I really got for you guys today. I just kind of wanted to introduce this project and talk about it a little bit and what I think is going to happen with it. So if you enjoyed watching, make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the bell down there so you get all my notifications, don't miss any updates, any news, anything. Follow my TikTok, my Spotify, and my Twitter down there in the description below. And yeah, it's been Bryce. Peace. Can I pitch a little Bobby just a young and run around with his man's hammer in his hand, feeling like a man. Run for the pole, pole.